St Mary's Catholic Primary School in Birmingham. A sunny Thursday in March and for year two, another new day of learning. Pupils that grab our attention are frequently the lively extrovert learners. But observing the quieter children can reveal much more about how we teach and more importantly, how they learn. In this programme, we're going to follow one such little girl. Her name is Scarlett. My name's Scarlett and I'm seven and my favourite subject is RE. Now, first of all, I want you to have a look at this picture of a plant. Now, what kind of a plant is this? Scarlett's class teacher, Veronica Knight, has planned a science lesson on plants. The learning objective is for the children to understand which parts of plants we can eat. Which kinds of foods did you eat lots of? But how easily will Scarlett meet this objective? And what sort of learning experience will it be for her? In the salad, there has to be all the different parts of a plant. Mrs Knight is setting out the learning objective, a challenging start for Scarlett. And roots. It seems difficult for her to concentrate. Carefully. Perhaps she's absorbed the information already, or is she just uncomfortable sitting on the floor? Mrs Knight has divided the class into groups. Some will work with her doing a sorting task, and others will do some observational drawing. And on Scarlett's table, teaching assistant Miss Thorne will be helping the children to identify the different parts of plants. They'll be using the edible parts to make a salad. OK, we're going to look at this copy of the piece of paper that we had on the board. Who can tell me what this word is? Gabriella. Flower. Scarlett has sat herself at an oblique angle to the whiteboard. Uh, who can tell me what this word is? Anina. From where she's sitting, it's almost impossible to see. This one? Sophia. Mm -hmm. But she still manages to pick up the words. Roots. And the last one, Scarlet. Seeds. Right, I'm going to send you off to a table over there to go and find each part of the plant to put in our salad. OK? Right, uh, Sophia, can you go and find the flower? Seeds. Scarlett's fascinated by the touch and feel of what she's chosen. But why does she think they're seeds? Because they're little and they're kind of shaped like um, rain and I can tell. It's thorn. It's thorn. Look at this. It's raining. Do you know what you found, Scarlett? Yes, Not pursuing her pumpkin seed investigation any further, Scarlett's eye and nose has been taken with Joshua's spring onions. It smells yes. nice. Can I tell Mrs. Cole? Gabriella, that seems nice. It doesn't smell That smells nice. Do you know what they're called, Joshua? Spring onions. Spring onions. Scarlet, look what's inside. Plastic, cool. It's not plastic. It's so sticky. Plastic. It's so sticky. Does it? It looks like soy. Come on. Oh, yes. It's break time, and completely unprompted, Scarlet has become fascinated by investigating things very closely. Um, I got one of the magnifying glass off that table and I was looking at all of the food on the table. You like to see it, and there's all the lowdown around here, and a few here, trying to just look at them, draw them. Yeah, we keep, I mean, sometimes we magnify them just to see what it actually looks like. Yeah. Right, Gabriella, give them a drain in there, put them in there. Drain them off. Unfortunately for Scarlett, her seeds need no preparation for the salad. 
so instead she adopts the role of casual observer. Girl. Right, do you want to wash yours, Anina? I need to wash mine. No. <laughs> Scarlet spots the roots of the cress. What is all the white bit on the bottom there? Oh, what do you think those are at the bottom? Tip it up and have a good look. What are those? It's not the stem. Where do you think the stem is, Antonio? The roots. Oh, yeah. It is the roots. They're well done. A bit wet. Because they've been in water. Yeah. How are you going to put that into your salad? What are you going to do to it? Cut the top bit so. Go on then, pull them off. That's a good idea. Oh, what about with the knife? Some people Try are not washing the, soil. The, um, the food and some people are cutting the food to make it small to put in our salad. We didn't need to cut these up because they're, they're already small. Do you think you can find some different types of seeds as yes. well? Yes. Scarlett has returned to the display table to choose some more fruit and vegetables. But again, she's fascinated by the seeds. This time, it's hulled sunflower seeds that have drawn her attention. Right on the end there, those stringy bits. Look, Miss Dawn, I've got some... The roots, good girl. Oh, brilliant. They're smaller, aren't they? Yeah. Do they smell? Do they smell? Can you smell anything? Would you like to add those to our salad? Lots there, isn't there, Scarlet? Yeah, and they're quite small, so they're hard to pick up. <laughs> yes? Giving them a shake? Yeah, so they mix up. Oh, make sure you don't put the stalk in. Do you want that bit in there? No. Mrs Knight has been moving around her classroom and has come to check on progress at Scarlet's table. Right, children, can I have a look at what you've been doing? Can I, can I sit here? Can you remind me what was our learning objective for this lesson? What are we finding out? We're finding out what parts of... But parts of the plant we, we, eat. we eat. Right, you had to make sure you had all the parts of the plant in your salad. How do you know that's a flower? Scarlet is thinking and listening. Those little bits. You know what they are, Anina? Those are the flower buds. They're very tight now. But what's intriguing is how much science she's actually taking in. The flowers would open out and they'd be yellow. Is there any fruit in there? Yes. <laughs> Where's the strawberry? Right, lots of strawberry. Well done. What stem do we have in this salad? Good boys, spring onions. Where are they? Mm. I can see you've got some white parts. Got any white parts in here? No, I actually cut the green parts. You only cut the green parts? Because it's, it's, it's the white part that's the stem, right? These green parts that are coming out of the top, what part of the plant are they? What is she thinking about? If it's not the science of plants, then where are her thoughts taking her? The leaves, so that's the leaves, the green part is the leaves. It's the white part that's the stem. You haven't got any in, have you? So can you colour it in quickly, just light green, and go and put it on the stem? This one over there, look. At the sorting table, Scarlet is getting to grips with some other plants. I mean, not can. Discovering that a carrot can be a microphone and investigating the mass of an iceberg lettuce. Let the carrots fly. Scarlet's mind is overflowing with imagination. Earlier, she said that her seeds were raining, 
And now her cabbage is flying. Something unusual has captured Scarlett's attention. Hey, look, it's got oranges in it. It's actually a Cape gooseberry. But what part of the plant does Scarlett think it is? I think it might be a flower. Right, Scarlet. Can you just move out to join me? What's inside it? Okay, what do you think it might be? Um, I don't know. Any ideas? Have you ever seen one before? No, maybe. Right, should we have a look? Maybe a seed. Should we cut it open and have a look? Look at these seeds. You have to actually um, put them all together and they have to go in the right place. Are you going to cut it? Yeah. It's got seeds. It's got lots of seeds, that's right. What do you what part of it do you think you eat? Uh, the orange bit. Right, so you don't eat this part, do you think? Yeah. Right, so what part of the plant do you think this is? Fruit. Why do you think it's the fruit? What can you see there? Seeds. Right, and we know the seeds are in the fruit, don't we? Yes. Do you want to have a taste? Do you tell us what it tastes like. Suddenly, the curriculum-driven agenda of the classroom and Scarlet's sensory world come together in a unique moment. It's quite sour. Is it? Yeah. What part of the meal do you think you would eat that in? Uh, in first. For your first course, you think, with, with your meat and, and, other, and vegetables? Do you know, if I had some of those at home, Scarlet, I'd have them for my pudding. Would you? I would eat them for my pudding, yes. In this programme, we've tried to experience a science lesson from one little girl's point of view. But how much more is there for us to discover about a child's learning? Scarlet's one of the children who is harder to motivate. If something took her interest, she was very happy to go with it. I think there's a lot more to Scarlet that we haven't seen yet. I enjoyed the lesson because I got to eat a bit of one of the food. And the best bit was making salad. I learned that you can eat um, stalk and the seeds, the leaves, the stem and the roots. I actually do. So well done all of you, that was excellent science, very good investigating, very good observations and very good thinking. Excellent, I think you could give yourselves a pat on the back for that. Well done. <laughs>